y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome to my basement. We're diving in to a new to me series. Here we go, y'all. It is Yellowstone. This is episode one, the first one streaming. I don't know. <laughs> Paramount, yes, Paramount, but you cannot get it off of Paramount Plus. <laughs> so I'm um, Amazon. I got this one off of Amazon, but I'm here based on requests from some of you all. This does not on the surface appear to be a series. That's kind of what I'm into. I get when I hear the scuttlebutt vibes of Falcon Crest, Dynasty, Dallas, but cranked up to a thousand. This could be interesting. This could be interesting, but I've been told it has really good dialogue. And if you watched any of my reaction videos, you know, dialogue is my jam. I love good, juicy, dialogue. What do I know about this show? It's Kevin Costner, cattle ranching set in Montana, family drama, and there's a character named Rip that everyone seems to go goo goo gaga ha ha crazy for. That's it. That's pretty much all I know. But I'm so glad that you are here with me as we begin this new journey. If you are new to my channel, hi, welcome. So glad to have you with me. Do keep in mind going forward that everything I say is just my opinion based on my research, observation, past life experiences. I am an author. I've written uh, contemporary paranormal romance novels as well as a fantasy serial that I'll get the next issue out someday eventually. But yes, so I sometimes approach story differently. The creative process I find fascinating. So sometimes you'll see me laugh at things that you go, why would this be laughable at all. It's not. I am just marveling at the entire creative process from brainstorming, filming, editing, brought to my attention. It's an amazing process. It's a magical process. And I'm going to share some of this with you. So if you haven't already, you can hit subscribe because we got a long journey to go. Also, full episode watch along will be available on my Patreon page. Episodes come out round about the same time the short version does. So yeah, go check it out. Got lots of fun stuff there as well. <gasps> okay, so we're going to get into it because this episode is like a little mini movie. It's 90 minutes long. I saw, so I'm going to get under the big cozy blanket because it's still cold as hell in the basement. I've got my cocktail ready to go. I hope you have your snacks and beverages ready as well. And let's get to it. <laughs> Oh, oh, well, we're starting off with a shot now, aren't we? Oh, 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 cheesy. Oh my gosh, I was seeing off with a shot as like a figure of speech. We're starting off insane. Okay, holy cheese balls. Maybe I should have made a stronger cocktail. Who was driving the tractor? Question mark, question mark here in a second. Now, I would think you'd want to put the gun down <laughs> when police officers are approaching. Jesus, that's John Dutton. Commissioner, are you all right? Well, that's a beginning. So my question mark, question mark. He saw to his horse before he saw to the other driver. Is that what went down? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> well, it's a summation of our state constitution, which clearly states that land preservation and property rights take precedence West Bentley. over West public expansion. West Bentley is in this. And grants the authority to condemn property for the public goods. Housing is essential. And our population is less than it was 40 years ago. Why? Because their fence guarantees we don't grow. 
For this commission to grant eminent domain, you must show public need, not desire. So, this case is dismissed. Oh, she got to decide that. Okay. It's 30,000 acres, Jamie. That isn't a fraction of the ranch. That's not. You can harvest the timber first. You want to suggest to my father that he clear cut his land, be my guest. You're a braver man than me. The town grows or it dies. Well, maybe it should grow. Up. Condos, Alan. Who wants to live in a condo in Montana? Wouldn't that be like, don't they have like killer winds in Montana? Thought we were gonna try and work this out, Bob. We've been trying to work this out for three hours, Craig. This is the alternative. I'm not gonna be bullied by your hatchet man, Bob. What do you think's gonna happen when I dump our 18% share tomorrow morning? Your company will be chapter 11 by Friday. I will be CEO of IL Energy by Monday. Don't look at him. Are we restructuring your company tomorrow or killing it? Made the right choice, Craig. That was a lot of words. Bitch. Yeah. <laughs> She got you. I just saved your house. I put your kids through college. Maybe you should say something more appropriate. Thank you. Jesus, what now? What now? <laughs> How did that hey, buddy. horse not bother his horse. How are you planning on getting him out? I'm just making this up as I go, face. Step back a bit further. <laughs> a lot further. He got a bit on him? I don't know horses that well. Bridle, bit, whatever that is. I'm shocked he actually got it on the horse. Can I pet him? No. In about a year. I wonder what he's thinking. Thinking, motherfucker, what am I doing here? Well, that's pretty. <laughs> Not so pretty. Your mother was always better at this. Here, yeah. let me do it. Let me do it. You got to learn when to think like a lawyer. You understand? And when to think like a landowner. Well, a lawyer's all you're ever going to be. I'll say this you, you got your mother's hands. Was that meant as a diss? Why don't you take your badge out with you today? I mean, it won't give us any trouble over strays. Well, the badge is for the ranchers riding with you. Is he in law enforcement? Senator, did you enjoy your tour? No. No, I did not. Why? Inequity must be witnessed to be changed. Until I was 18, I thought I was Mexican. When I turned 18, my adoption records were unsealed. Who said they lied? to protect me. He said as a Mexican, I would face discrimination. But as an Indian, I would know a hatred that had to be endured to be fully understood. Oh, he is putting on a show. That's this nation's policy toward us. I'm going to change that policy. My people are the only ones that can change that policy. Oh. The gambler's money is like a river. Flowing one way, we'll buy it back with their money. <laughs> so what do you want from me? Yeah. I want you to help me spend it. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the new chairman of Broken Rock, Thomas Rainwater! Broken Rock chairman as the casino? Casino Corporation or the tribe? Damn it, the river here will generate enough power to light every home in the subdivision, 30 miles in the most pristine wilderness in North America. For now. There are no restrictions on damming a river. There should be. Beavers do it all the time. This is Montana. We can do whatever we want. Until the land says, fuck you, and tries to take it back. My name's Ted. Where are you from? That's the signal. She's not interested. Bozeman is a college town, so I'm going to say a school reunion. My clothes? 
Do you feel close, Dad? That feels like I'm getting close. My turn. God, here she goes. You're in real estate or something equally as unimportant. Married. That was your excuse to come out here. You came alone because none of your friends can afford it, and those who do, they, they have wives a lot smarter than yours, because let's be honest, Dad, you didn't come here to fish. You're hunting. That's why you're sitting in a bar instead of standing in a river. Who the hell are you to judge me? Didn't sound like she was judging him. It sounds as if she was... I'm hunting, too. Nailing him on the it's head. hunting you. You look like a real soft fuck, Dad. Oh, you city boys, too. Come about two feet closer. You think I won't? I think you should. Let me tell you something. <gasps> Whatever happens next happens to you first. Does he really need a gun like that for two inches away? Fuck, you sure made a mess of this. It was a mess when I got here. The cattle wandered on to Rez land, John. Cattle don't know the difference between your land and ours. Neither did we till the government showed us. <laughs> I argued against it, but the new chief, hungry for a fight, this one. I just don't see how anyone gains from all this, Felix. I don't either, but he don't think like me. Went to some big university. Now he thinks like you. <laughs> you know, there was barbed wire on this fence a week ago. The barbed wire is not cut it is gone there's lots going on we're getting a lot of groundwork laid down a lot to keep track of we're going to start out with lot number one is royal m duke in 2000 any legal recourse in reservation land but if you're talking prosecution we need friends in the u.s attorney's office next one sounds as if he had kids and forced them to become certain professions he was going to need the word has that you're hiring. Cowboys, not criminals. I can't stop them. Oh. You can. Stop. Hello, Governor. John, how are you? How concerned should I be about this issue on the res? It's a new chief showing off for his voters. We should schedule a lunch. I could use a lunch. Could he now? Interesting. <laughs> That was so slick. That was so slick. Whoa. Whoa. You were right. They're building a city. Got tiger stripes on his legs. You know what that means, don't you? You managed to break his spirit, and a horse will serve you better. He'll serve me just fine with spirit intact. Yeah. Is that a metaphor for their relationship? Uh, come see. Tate playing the dirt, maybe even join him. He's at Monica's parents. Someday your son's going to test you. I want you to remember me standing here, son, before you make that decision, because this, this is a consequence of choosing wrong. I just want to know him, Casey. Is it too much to ask that you help make that happen? <laughs> You've always asked too much. Ooh, there's backstory there. There's backstory there. What was the choice? Marry the girl or don't? And if you marry her, you're out? Was that the choice? Oh, he was there the whole time. What was he doing? What? Is this for me? Oh, good God. You're Jimmy. Who's asking? You're alone, Jimmy. I'll take that as a yes. No! Yeah. He's You're tired. a two-time loser, Jimmy. No. Nah. You're a thief. What did he steal? What did he steal? Fuck, man! What did he steal? Wait, 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 wait! One is I take you and all this shit, and I drive you down to the sheriff's office. 
or you prove that you deserve another chance. From what I can see, you don't. Why would John Dutton give a shit about me? He doesn't. But he will. What is this crazy initiation? What is happening? What? <laughs> I need more context. I need context. You start Monday. Doing what? So was that the kid, the guy at the auction was asking about? I have a feeling people are going to die. Someone's going to die. You can't run this place if you won't interact with the people. I'm they, running it right this now, ain't running Dad, it. Don't All right, this ain't running it. it. This is working it. God damn it, 38 years old, you still don't know the difference. <laughs> Thanks, Pop. Looks like a breach. Okay, right? Can't tell her to take it easy. She's got a couple hands up her ass. Well, vagina. <laughs> That horse, that horse, the horse, the cow, the cow is gone. The miracle of life. <laughs> you look at that calf, what do you see? I see a life I gotta feed and defend until it grows up and feeds me. That's what a cowboy should see. The cattleman sees a $293 investment worth $1,100 in seven months. I wish I saw it different, Dad. So I tell, t take it, this son isn't taking over the ranch. Well, if it isn't bachelor number two. What are you doing here? Same thing I always do. Fixing something you couldn't. Now, what the hell are we I supposed think. to do with Buffalo? He's not there. You're up early. I don't really sleep. Yeah, well, at least I spotted it. No. Uh -huh. Subtle. Subtle. <laughs> well, life's not that complicated, Rip. Either walk on down the hall or fuck me. He chose door number two. There's a music festival in Livingston this weekend. You wanna go with me? Now he's asking her on a date. Do they date? You ruin it every time. The answer is no, they don't date. <laughs> I always remember your dick is being bigger. It's a great catch. <laughs> I wasn't here when I was a boy. None of this one. I will say this though. These transplant sure can't make some ice cream. Such a transplant. <laughs> person who moves to a place, and then they try to make that place just like the place they left. That don't make sense. <laughs> I hope he called first. What are you doing here? Closure, I guess. You? Penance. Hey, Case. Let's go. Grab a horse. Let's go. John Dutton's got four kids. Hmm. Wait, they mix the buffalo in with the regular cattle? And they're taking a little boy on the run with the buffalo. Okay. Let me do it, Grandpa. Do it? Yeah. Try it. Yeah! <laughs> this horse ain't going to go. Tate looks sleepy. Yeah. Are you ready to eat? It's a good day. Every day. Just like this. Who are you kidding? <laughs> but you haven't fished here in years. 
Only thing we haven't done in years is see you, Casey. He told me to leave. He told us all to leave. You were just the only one who did. <laughs> I miss being young. You wake up in the morning, and you just keep right on dreaming, huh? You're a 38-year-old bachelor living in your father's house, working 100-hour weeks for a nibble of his approval. Is that the dream, Lee? I was wondering that. Because I was wondering, Tate's the only grandchild? None of them are, are officially, officially married hey, except for Case. Don't throw things at my dad. <gasps> hey, hey. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Whoa. We're just brothers arguing, man. Nobody's mad, okay? If I were to dam the river, I'd do it right there around the bend. That's where they're doing it. No, I'm not going to lie to you. There's going to be a severe impact to your land. No shit. Erosion's my biggest concern. My biggest concern is a subdivision sucking on our river. Mm-hmm. On their land, it's their river. I mean, I can't stop the river from flowing. Can't divert the river, can you? I want you to stop it, Ron. You should move it. Oh, it is his plan. <laughs> when I get my steers, I'm going to take one and... Carve out a porterhouse the size of a radiator. <laughs> they divvying up the cow? Oops. What is that one? It's a silver star. You got one of those? Pissing contest. What do you have to do to win one? You gotta kill someone to get one of those. What about that one? That's the Navy Cross. You wouldn't believe what I had to do to get that one. Wait, so Casey's in was in the service. Oh. What's he doing here? We'll see. What was it? I can see it was in the dark. Well, I hope I'm not intruding. Of course not. But my uh, grandfather's not here. Well, I'm not oh. here to see your grandfather. Oh. Who are you here to see? I want to thank you for helping the other day. <laughs> I hope it didn't put you in an uncomfortable position i'm here to talk cattle they don't belong to you they don't belong to you either they belong to the people now every one of them wears a brand mm -hmm. anybody tries to move them off the res they'll never leave the res we'll use them to raise calves we're our brand huh huh and I won't allow you to make victims of the people who elected me just to appease the people who elected you. Your people don't know the concept of victim. Is this your idea of respect? Letting some crippled old man ride his lame horse? And I'll throw your half-tamed buffalo so we can pretend to be something we haven't been in a century. That was the plan with the buffalo? These plans are like, what? What is the purpose? The nation will keep the cattle. Your father will try to take them back. He has every right. Mm -hmm. We had every right to take them. So now we will fight. You will be judged for the actions of your father. Sweet. Do nothing. You will be judged for that, too. They all will. Maybe it's best you go home for a while, hey? Uh, isn't he home? You know what I mean. What? If somebody wants me to leave, you can tell them to come make me. Pretty silly thing to say on the reservation. <laughs> Until they find a cure for human nature, a man must stand with his people. And we are not your people. Well, maybe he could be. What is this reasoning? They're all swinging such dicks around. <laughs> Oh, they got the ATVs out. You know how to ride a horse? Uh, figures, come here. Come on, get on. Get on the horse. I can throw him on the horse anyway. Okay. And they got dynamite. Both in one night? Everyone's forgotten who runs this rally. So this is how you remind them? It's a bad idea. We don't choose the way, little brother. Someone's dying. Someone's dying. Okay. So I'm, I'm. 
Taking their going after the cattle. And and diverting the river at the same time. Or are they gonna throw the dynamite to get the cattle to run? They are going to war. All that gear. All that gear. Oh, and they drove right past his house. What? Seen a helicopter riding that low to the ground normal out in Montana. This is the last one. So now, have they put any thought into what happens if they divert the river? What happens to everything downstream? I feel different here. Skin tingles. You live in the city. Cities are the sunsets of civilization. Monuments are exhausted landscape. Man is migratory by nature. But your feeling is instinct. A hunger for new land. It's woven into your DNA. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Tingle is the sensation of touching your destiny. This dynamite's gonna go off. There it is. Oh, oh, that's all down that hillside. <laughs> okay, someone's dying. Someone's dying. So some of them have vests on, some don't. It's pretty handy when the people with the most money and the most power also hold the authority. Oh, these four guys. These four guys are the soul, soul watchers. Oh god, it's all of her family. For how many head? How many head is it that they're fighting over? Now, if you wanted to be really petty, you'd kill all the cattle, right? <gasps> Wait, get in there. This is not going to go well. Who's that? Is that one of ours? Yeah. Yeah. Is that Casey? Yeah. 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 What the hell is he doing? He's choosing a side. You see that? Jesus Christ! Oh! oh. oh. Abort! They're still shooting. We gotta get the fuck out of here. We ain't going anywhere without our beef. Three doors in Afghanistan, and I gotta deal with this shit. Fucking Montana. <laughs> oh, jeez. Lee's dead. Lee's dead. He's so dead. You want him back? Come and get him. This is my tense face. This is my tense. <laughs> That's happening. <laughs> There he is. I want them back. Did he full on murder him? In case you don't already know, there's no such thing as heaven. <gasps> that was definitive. Got thoughts. <laughs> I have thoughts. All right, state police are sending a chopper out to Luke for him. How many miles? How many miles did he ride in with his brother?
They brought him in by helicopter and not by truck. That's making a statement. This episode is it's just <laughs> never ending. Turned deadly last night, Turned leaving down. three men dead. Three. Three. I should have seen this coming. We all saw it coming. How could you know he wanted the cattle that bad? He didn't want cattle. He wanted this. I'll have a Senate hearing on this next month. You have the full weight of my office behind you. Oh. He's there. Just one hell of a horse. Yeah, he got the breed in the ear stud, but he has a heart. I know, I saw. You want to stay for supper? You can put him in the barn. Uh, barn for you. You can put him in the barn. They speak in a language all their own, don't they? Does he have a Yellowstone brand on him? I deserve to know what happened, Casey. He was my brother. And it was his. Baby, why won't you talk to me? <sighs> He's never looked at me the way he looked at Lee. And he never will. Thanks, Beth. <laughs> I need you more than ever. You have me. I'm not going anywhere. Just tell me how to fight. Everyone. Trouble. Trouble. <laughs> that was just the start. That was epic and massive. And I'm wondering, part of me wonders, if there was maybe too much going on, because that was a lot of people. <laughs> Someone's texting me. A lot of people, a lot of places, a lot of situations, a lot of dynamics. Things were being laid down. And it's almost like when you're being thrown into it, too much to, uh, <laughs> I need to lay it out. I need to lay out all the tiles to see where the game's going and how it's going to progress. That's how I roll. I'm also not certain who to root for. I like to have characters that I root for. Now I can feel for some of them right now. I feel for Casey. Casey seems to be stuck between multiple worlds. Tons of backstory. Guessing he's the youngest. Fallen out with dad. Joined the Navy? Came back, settled near home for some reason. He's living a completely different life. I feel for John a smidgen because he lost his son. This is why I say a smidgen. There was a lot of dick swinging. Holy crap. And when there's that much, I'm just like, dudes, for reals, for reals, how much would have been avoided if you just took your pride to the side and figured out really what's good for the community? Because none of what they're doing is good for the community. It's good for their bank accounts. Every single single one of them. That scene with Beth, the beginning, the bank and the company that they were trying to, that they were merging with. It sounds as if, I did not go to school for business. However, if you're in a position where you've made your company that vulnerable, somewhere along the line, you got too greedy or you got complacent or you weren't paying attention to who your customer base really was and what your workers needed to do to be successful and you lost your way and that made you vulnerable for corporate takeover. I'm feeling as if there's a lot of that going on. So who do I feel bad for? Who do I want to win? I, want, I like to root for someone to win and I don't know who to root for right now. Because they all seem to be for more or less out for themselves.
visually, this show is epic. It is vast. The prairie for his lovers, you can see those rolling brown, brown rolly hills, brown rolly hills, brown rolly hills, cattle, look, everything. It's epic. It puts you right in that zone. It's small town, but it's not, which I find that dynamic fascinating. And Lee is dead. I had a feeling Lee was going to die. I knew people were going to die. My thought, though, is you're John Dutton. You've got, okay, so you've got four kids. One, can't really rely on. Kesey, he's got his own thing. You got your other three that you're grooming somehow to help you in your business. You're building and you're building and you're building and you're building your business to leave to who? When you're gone, <laughs> What's your legacy? What if you had these three kids that didn't want nothing to do with your business? Or who had different visions for the business and you're dead and gone to the afterlife? You have no control over that. So what do you do? What do you do? Huh? I know. This is only episode one. We've got five more seasons to go. What more? Okay. So we've got land battles on multiple sides. Multiple sides. Who comes out ahead? I don't know. So there we go, y'all. Episode one, season one of Yellowstone. We are starting an adventure and I do wish that you come back me for the rest of this journey. So again, hit subscribe would be awesome. Tell me who your favorite characters are, who, who you love to see more of, who you can't stand, because I'm sure you all have your favorites and your dis favorites. And I want to hear all about it. So thanks again. Take care of yourselves, stretch your bodies, drink something, eat some toast, and then come back and see the next video in the queue. So until next time, y'all.